Hi, in this episode we will take a look at our fuzzy select tool. This tool is very powerful, very useful and uh, it can do a lot of really interesting things. Now here the options are again a lot like the other tools. Again you have the option to uh, make a selection, to add to that selection, to subtract, to intersect. You have the anti-aliasing, you have the feather edges option, you have uh, here the option to select transparent areas. So if you have transparency, right now we don't have that, but we, if we did have transparency, uh, we can leave this checked if you want to select those transparent areas or leave it unchecked. Uh, sample merge means that you are affecting uh, all the visible layers. Here select by is, uh, you can select by the red channel, green channel, blue channel, by the hue, the saturation, the value, or the composite. Here our threshold, this is one of the most important options of the tool, is how we affect our pixels. So this tool basically select neighboring pixels. So the lower this is, the less area you select. Uh, for example, here we have different shades of green, different shades of yellow, different shades of blue. And if we click on that, this will uh, determine the amount of uh, neighboring pixels that we are going to select. So if we turn it up, we may select up a lot, we may select things that we don't want to. Or if it's too low, we may select very little. So here, this threshold, you have to um, turn it up and down all the time to make the desired selection. Also, in this tool, subtracting and adding to a selection are very important because uh, often you select areas that you don't want to select and then just quickly switch to subtract, for example, by pressing your control or your uh, shift key you can add subtract and to make that desired selection now in the next video we'll take a look how we can quickly select this object here and some other things too